to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Spain's acknowledged a request from the U.S. prompted last week's blockade of a plane carrying Bolivian President Evo Morales. The Bolivian plane was grounded in Austria for 14 hours after Spain, France, Portugal and Italy closed their airspace over false rumors NSA leaker Edward Snowden was on board. On Tuesday, Spanish Foreign Minister José Manuel García Margala confirmed for the first time the rumor came from the U.S. government. He went on to say he's willing to apologize to Bolivia. There seems to be a misunderstanding there, and if there is a misunderstanding, I don't have any problem apologizing to President Morales. That is, if President Morales thinks that there has been a misunderstanding, that is no problem. I insist, neither the airspace nor landing authorization were closed at any moment. It's the only one that remains open. On Tuesday, Evo Morales criticized European countries for acceding to U.S. demands, saying the former colonizers of Latin America are now being colonies of the United States. The invaders, the colonists, now they are the colonies, and they are the invaded, and they are the ones to submit to the United States. I don't understand what is happening in Europe. From here, I believe that, along with the social movements of Europe, we are going to defend the sovereignty and dignity of these people who are also our peers. On Tuesday, a Russian lawmaker fueled rumors surrounding Snowden's next steps after posting a Twitter message saying he's accepted Venezuela's asylum offer. The tweet was deleted shortly after. On its Twitter feed, the group WikiLeaks said Snowden has not yet accepted asylum in Venezuela and that an announcement will be made, quote, if and when the appropriate time comes, unquote. In an interview shortly after conducting an online chat with Snowden, the journalist who brought his disclosures to the world, Glenn Greenwald, said he thinks Venezuela is Snowden's best bet. There are news reports today that he's formally accepted the asylum offer from Venezuela. Whether those news reports are accurate or not, um, I, I don't want to comment on. But I think, personally, just speaking for myself, that of the three options, that one seems like the most plausible. Figuring out how to get to the country that has offered him asylum without the rogue lawless empire that has proven itself willing to engage in rogue behavior to prevent him physically from getting there, um, being able to stop him, that's the challenge. Glenn Greenwald was speaking from Brazil, where he's published his latest report showing NSA spying has extended to all of Latin America. The surveillance has gone far beyond issues of terrorism claimed by the U.S. government, with areas of focus including Venezuela's oil industry and Mexico's energy sector. Brazil says it's set up a task force to investigate the allegations and is still waiting on U.S. diplomats to provide a formal explanation.